This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. I am joined by Mr. Jason Casey of Havana Restaurant in Bar Harbor yes. and your newest baby, Havana South in yes, Portland. in Portland. Today I'm going to be making a seafood paella using uh, our uh, Maloney Seafood uh, Six Mate Sustainable Shrimp. Right and, and that's our, your supplier. Of that's your our supplier shrimp. for our shrimp, uh, mm -hmm. for all of our restaurants. And we're also gonna be using a bone-in strip steak, which is provided by Dolan Bailey through their uh, Northeast Family Farms program. Yes, and that's your distributor of all of your very high quality meats. Yes. And we'll be meeting Carl sometime in the show and then he'll explain to us his philosophy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start heating up a pan to uh, start our steak since that's going to take the longest. A nice 16 ounce piece of steak. We're going to get a, a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil on there. Okay. And just brush it slightly. Here we have Carl DiMatteo here of Dolan Bailey. Dolan Bailey got its start uh, with a farmer's market in Faneuil Hall back in 1868. There was a, um, a farmer and a businessman, uh, Frank Bailey and Cyrus Stoll, who opened up a stall in uh, Faneuil Hall and uh, marketed local meats, cheeses, and other farmer's market type items. And that's really what's um, been the the, the exciting part about uh, what Dylan Bailey is doing with Northeast Family Farms is we're sort of re-energizing the farm-to-plate relationship by getting local product into the, um, the local restaurants and into the local retail shops around, the, around New England and New York. We should add that Northeast Family Farms is a program established by Dolan Bailey and specifically to support small to medium-sized local farmers. You're going to meet up with us at the end of the show for the tasting, right, Absolutely. Carl? Can't wait to try it. Marvelous. We'll see you then. Very and good. And while that's searing away... In a nice hot pan. We want our nice, nice hot pan. Hot. You want to get some nice, good caramelization on that steak, bring out that nice uh, sweetness. And so we're just going to let that uh, sear nice and slow. Okay. And I'm starting to get some of our ingredients together for our fennel slaw that's actually going to go with the steak. Uh, but first, we're going to get our paella, paella started. Paella, yes, okay. So what we want to do is get a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in the pan. So yes. we're going to start off by just adding a few slices of our garlic. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to add in a little bit of our, uh, our grilled chicken mixture here. So what is actually in this mixture? Um, it's, uh, chicken, a bit. it's chicken thighs that have been uh, seasoned mm. with a little bit of uh, paprika, chili powder, salt and pepper, and then just grilled to a nice crisp. It's got a beautiful charred taste to it. Very nice. Uh, what we also have in the pan is some uh, some linguiça sausage and okay. some andouille. And now that they're starting to caramelize a little bit, you're starting to get a little bit stuck to the yes. pan, uh, we're actually going to start adding more ingredients. Okay, so good. back over to our ingredient dish. Great. Uh, we're going to add in a little bit of our uh, tomato sauce, which is some pan-crushed um, uh, Marzano tomatoes. Yeah, Marzano, high quality tomatoes. Very good stuff. Uh, another little trick is I add in a little bit of tomato paste into my paella, which adds uh, richness. And again, at this point, we have really no liquid in the pan. Yeah, no liquid all... in the pan just yet. We're gonna add in our risotto, which actually is... And it's, this... is this saffron infused It is, it risotto? is a saffron infused risotto. While that heats through, we could actually start uh, putting in some of our seafood on top. Okay. Uh, we have some of our six mates uh, shrimp that we're going to add right in on top there. Very good. Uh, we have some diced Maine lobster. Mm, of course. Which is always wonderful. I steamed ahead some clams uh, so they wouldn't take so long to open, but I steamed them in just a little bit of white wine earlier. Compliments of Dolan Bailey are beautiful. Very nice and thick steak. We drained our uh, the water out of our plantains, which was basically just ripe plantains, and we're going to start on our plantain mash. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to add our plantains and a little bit of the cooking liquid right into our KitchenAid. And we're just going to let that masher do its thing. Just on low speed? On low speed. Okay. And while that's mashing away, I am going to slice up our fennel really quick yes. for our uh, fennel slaw. Is there a special way you like to arrange it on the plate? I do. I usually try and put down most of my, uh, my the shelled seafood first. I'm going to get a little bit of our plantain mash and we're just going to finish it off with this nice fresh chimichurri. Let's start with this with the steak. Yeah. I'm going to give you some utensils here to work with. Fantastic. We'll start with the steak because you were so kind to provide us with this high quality meat. In fact, if we want to know what restaurants you provide to, you have a website. That's right. Uh, it's called Northeast 
familyfarms.com, mm -hmm. and there uh, consumers, chefs, and others can learn about our farm partners mm -hmm. and the restaurants and retailers that uh, provide the Northeast Family Farms products. It tastes fantastic. I actually paired mine with a little bit of your plantain oh, mash. There you go. Perfect. Wonderful. Well, that is delicious. High quality meat. You can tell as soon as you taste it and execute it, cooked perfectly, Chef. Thank you. The beautiful thing about, about paella is it has all these wonderful ingredients so you can catch all of them in the first bite. Mm, really nice flavors. Beautiful, fresh seafood. Thank you so much for joining us today at the no Fine Living Thank Festival you. in Kennebunkport. It's been marvelous having on the Chef's Kitchen. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.